All right, you guys, hey, it's Sergeant Q here. Hey, you guys really liked that last review I did of the K-Bar Combat Spork, so what I'm gonna do now, I got some requests to show you how to actually use it as a, as a weapon, as a self-defense tool, so that's what we're gonna do. So this is designed, like I said, just like a, a Kubaton. So I understand most of you probably don't know what that is. I will do another video after this one explaining what a Kubaton is and how to use it. Uh, they're a fairly common item, they're really great to have. But for this video, I'm just gonna assume that everybody here knows what a Kubaton is and, and has, how to use it. So um, this is my, uh, my lovely assistant, Austin. He's, he's my son, so we're gonna beat him up today. So like I said, this is the, uh, the Kubaton. So there's a couple main ways to use it. There's two ways to use it as a striking tool and one way to use it as advanced pen compliant. So the first way for striking is just as a fist pack. See right there, just, you just grip it like that. It's gonna reinforce the fist which is gonna allow you to strike harder without damaging your knuckles, your metacarsals, your, all your little tendons and nerves in there that could break really easy. So it reinforces the fist, so when you're striking, you're not damaging uh, y your knuckles in your hand. So it's really good for that. The second way to use it is striking, which is the way I prefer, which is to use this round tip right here. So we use this as a, uh, as a blunt object. You know, I teach the same thing, but using your thumb to strike these areas, but this reinforces it. You can hit a lot harder with this. So what we're looking for right here, when we strike, we're gonna cover up and we're gonna strike here in the lower abdomen, upper chest, and then we're aiming for the neck or the head. Doesn't really matter where you hit. You're hitting all this side of the body right here, just three strikes, gut, ribs, head or neck. Totally disorient your opponent. It's gonna make him not wanna fight anymore. So what we're looking at right here, you guys, if we look on, on Austin right here, you're striking, like I said, lower abdomen, right underneath the ribs, inside the ribs or armpit, head or neck, okay? That's what you're gonna wanna do. It also works really good uh, to, for grappling. So if somebody is gonna grab a hold of you and they're gonna try and try and manipulate you or, or get you to move somewhere, you use that blunt end again, See, he moves real quick, real quick when you use that advanced paint compliance. So areas that you want to uh, hit are going to be joints, uh, anywhere where there's going to be a nerve or a tendon running along the back of the hand, the wrist. So go ahead and grab my wrist, Austin, like that. So from here, he's got to hold me. He thinks he can control me, but really quickly I can turn the tables. Just by twisting my wrist under and applying pressure with this, with this hard part of the plastic here, it's going to stop him from... <laughs> It's gonna stop him from wanting to continue to fight. So anywhere in close, you can use that. Um, joint manipulation, things like that. So now we're gonna to go to a little bit more advanced. Um, like I said, this is only for life or death situation where you're gonna use this one right here, right? Which is the blade. Don't really have to tell you guys too much about that. Same exact striking that you would use um, with the Kubaton, but if this was the bladed end, we're gonna strike the same spot, in the gut, right under the ribs, right in the ribs, this is gonna be the lung and the heart, and then right in the neck or the head, right? So, if you use this piece, it's a little shiv, I'm gonna use the blunt end, safety purposes, okay? Strike, strike, strike. That quick, your opponent is completely eliminated. Again, this is for life or death situations only, you guys. You don't want to be messing around with your buddy or, or getting in a bar fight and using something like this. This is a deadly weapon, and you will be charged with assault with a deadly weapon uh, if they prove that you were not in fear for your life. You know, it was, So only life or death situations that you'd want to use it this way, you guys, with the bladed end. Um, just as effective with the blunt end, if you use it as the, as the Kubaton side. Like I said, this is more for uh, serious life or death. These guys are gonna are, are gonna kill you. They're dragging you into a vehicle. They're trying to dump your body, something like that. So um, there you have it, you guys. I travel around with this thing to the different countries that I go to. Uh, this and other other advanced bank compliance tools just like it. So uh, that's the Sergeant Q's instructions on the the combat spork here. So here you go, guys. Anybody who likes, shares, and comments this video, we have a second one of these that we're gonna give away. So you have to like, share, and comment, and then you'll get a uh, slightly used uh, uh, combat spork, the one that I used actually in this video. Um, here's the wrapping right here. So you'll get this sent to you. Like, share, comment, and then we'll draw a winner. Good luck, you guys. Sergeant Q, out.